Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Thank you for popping over one more time. And today we are going to be making a, a cake. My mum used to call it cake, which I believe is just a mispronunciation of the word cake. But it was really tasty and she made it very, very often. And I can tell you guys, nothing will go wrong with this cake. It will always come out perfect every time. So, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to add the melted butter. Melt it and cool down. You don't want it warm or hot. It has to be cooled down. So all the butter in there and the sugar. My mum would have used white sugar which is not extremely healthy. I use brown sugar. So remember, I'm putting the same amount uh, in brown sugar as my mum would have done of white. So it's not going to be as sweet. But that doesn't bother us. And what we're going to do, we're going to mix it. I'm going to cream it. So we are back and we have mixed the butter and the sugar and as now it's looking very creamy. And what we are going to be doing is we will be adding the eggs one by one. Once that we have mixed the eggs in, what we're going to do we're going to add the baking powder. So we add the baking powder and you have to do it in this order, okay? Make sure you do it in this order. So we mix the baking powder in. We're going to start adding the flour. So slowly, slowly, we start adding the flour. So, I have now mixed everything in and it's looking really good. What we're going to do now, we're going to put in our baking tin, which I have previously um, lined with um, greaseproof paper. Um, I greased the paper as well with some butter. Don't criticize my wrapping, don't worry. My lining, sorry, don't worry. My lining is not perfect, it will never be. Uh, but what is important is what is going to go inside this tin and what is going inside is going to be the always perfect cake believe me the always perfect cake I should call it that I shouldn't call it cake I should call it the always perfect cake because always comes out perfect and when it's cooked and baked and it's cooled down and you have it in the morning for breakfast with a bit of butter and a bit of um, maybe raspberry jam, my favorite, it will be really, really lovely in the morning. Ah, winter morning. We always have winter mornings here. You may be wondering why I'm doing all this on top of my cooker and the only reason is because I don't have room in my kitchen to put the camera and get a proper view of what I'm doing. So this is why we're doing it on top of the cooker. So this is what it looks like and it's going to go in the oven about 190 degrees for approximately 30 minutes. So here we are, cake is now ready. I'm going to, I'm going to show you, cake is ready. I'm going to let it rest for five minutes and then I will take it out. I'm feeling quite festive, so I'm going to decorate it in a festive tray, Christmassy tray. I uh, just wanted to let you know, uh, put it on the oven at 200 to 10 uh, for about 20 minutes and if you see that it's getting too brown then put it down to 190 
Uh, my one is a fan oven, so it did take a bit longer than what I wanted to, uh, but it's, it's looking good. It's looking really good. So let's see how it looks on once that is served. And if you like it, share it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm planning to do three recipes every week. So please uh, click on the bell button and you will receive notifications when a new video is uploaded. I hope you enjoy it. It's a really lovely cake and we'll see how it looks.